The Chicago Bears have 28 unrestricted free agents potentially leaving their roster starting in the league new year on March 15, 2023. As bad as the season was record-wise, there were still a lot of players that could come back for the right reasons. Today, I am going to be going over all 28 players very quickly and who I think the Chicago Bears will be calling and saying you should probably re-sign your lease in Chicago for another year. Hello, everyone. I go back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Before I begin to today's episode, please make sure you hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below of who you think should come back to the Chicago Bears. And if you like this type of sports content for Chicago, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. So let's run through the list of the unrestricted free agents on the offensive side of the ball. There are 16 total players that are unrestricted free agents. Fullback Karee Blassingang, quarterback Tim Boyle, offensive lineman Dakota Dozer, offensive lineman Dieter Esselin, running back Darrington Evans, tight end Ryan Griffin, wide receiver Nikita Harry, running back David Montgomery, offensive lineman Sam Mustafer, quarterback Nathan Peterman, wide receiver Dante Pettis, wide receiver Byron Pringle, offensive lineman Riley Reef, long snapper Patrick Scales, offensive lineman Michael Schofield, and tight end Trevin Wisco. 16 total guys on the offensive side of the ball that are eligible to go sign with any team that they want starting in the league's new year, but there's a few in there I think you guys know who the Chicago Bears should bring back. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. As there is 12 unrestricted free agents for the Chicago Bears, linebacker Matt Adams, defensive lineman DeAndre. Blackson, defensive back Josh Blackwell, defensive back Brian Borders, defensive back uh, Dane Krushank, defensive lineman Andrew Brown, defensive back DeAndre Houston Carson, linebacker Elijah Lee, linebacker Nicholas Moreau, defensive lineman Mike Pennell Jr., linebacker Joe Thomas, and defensive lineman Armin Watts. Those are the 28 guys that are going to be unrestricted free agents for the Chicago Bears this upcoming offseason. And I still think that out of the 28, there is a decent amount that will come back to the Chicago Bears for depth reasons, special teams, and also their impact on the team as a whole. So you guys can do process of elimination if you would like, but I'm going to name just only who I think the Chicago Bears should bring back. Let's start with the offense. The obvious, David Montgomery. With Saquon Parkley pretty much being offered 12 plus million a year, according to reports from the New York Giants, and Paul saying he wants David Montgomery back, I don't see the Bears doing anything but trying their absolute best to bring back David Montgomery. Barkley is generational type talent. There is no doubt about it. But $12 million plus for a running back is an insane amount of money. There are so many key areas of need for the Chicago Bears. And yes, they do have a lot of cap. I would rather address more areas of players that you do need to pay that type of money to. And Saquon is definitely worth that, but not in the Bears plans when you do have a guy like David Montgomery. Montgomery is obviously going to sign for cheaper. In my opinion, he's a, an elite elite pass blocking running back, which is very rare in today's day and age. And he really hasn't played with an offensive line his entire career. So if you give David Montgomery an offensive line, who knows what he can do? Speaking of offensive line, I would bring back offensive lineman Riley Reef. I think Reef is a good veteran for the Bears to keep around to teach some of the younger guys, especially with probably going to draft more linemen in this upcoming draft. Also with how many injuries we had on the offensive line this past year, Reef was one of the more consistent guys. Following that, I would bring back wide receiver Nikhil Harry. Harry is by far the biggest wide receiver on the Bears roster right right now. He did also show flashes of what he can do. He had the spectacular catch against the Green Bay Packers and a touchdown against the Dallas Cowboys. Poles also used a seventh round pick on him, and we all know how much Ryan Poles loves his draft picks, so he definitely might want to give him another chance to show that it wasn't a mistake, but you live and you learn, young GM mistake, but I would still bring, I personally would bring back the kill here in a one-year contract. Another wide receiver I would bring back is Dante Pettis. Dante Pettis is a reliable veteran for the Chicago Bears, and he showed that this season. He was the only consistent wide receiver in my opinion, in the entire room, along with his abilities on special teams. He's a strong punt returner, which I think that the Bears could bring him back strictly just to do that, and which I'd be totally fine with, because Pettis showed that he can do it, and when rookie Vellis Jones Jr. was struggling, but Vellis Jones Jr. showed he was a very good kick returner, kind of showed that the Bears could use both of them in their respective field. I would also bring back quarterback Tim Boyle. When Boyle came in against the Vikings in Week 18 at Soldier Field, he had some nice deep balls and ran the offense pretty well when Justin Fields was injured. I think Boyle could be a nice veteran to bring back on a cheap contract to be by behind Trevor Simeon and overall then you have your three quarterback finally long snapper Patrick Scales I don't really need to say much here he's a great energy guy great locker room guy would love to resign him again and usually when you have a good long snapper you keep him let's go to the defensive side of the ball where I don't have that many guys
guys that I want coming back, but this guy I do. Linebacker with Nicholas Moreau. Moreau had a career year low key with the Chicago Bears and could be a part of the defense moving forward. In 2022, he started and completed every game for the Chicago Bears. In those 17 games, he had 116 total tackles, 83 being solo, 33 assists, 11 tackles for loss, one interception, and two pass deflections. I am Ryan Poles. I'm giving myself a pat on the back because what a pickup Moreau was. I'd give him about a two year, $11 million contract, or, you know, heck, I'd throw a little bit more bag at him because he did have a really good year overall. 116 tackles is no joke. Another guy I would bring back is Josh Blackwell. Blackwell was a great special teams player and also showed flashes on the defensive side of the ball. Could be a DeAndre Houston Carson type player moving forward for the Chicago Bears, constantly signing one year contracts, which is exactly what I would sign him to. And then finally, I'm bringing back, speak of the devil, DeAndre Houston Carson. A special teams guru has been with the Bears since 2016, so he's dealt with the good and the bad, knows the organization, has respect from the fan base, and has showed great skills on the special team side of the ball where he can be more of like a playing type coach. As always, sign him to a one-year contract. There are some other players that you guys might be shocked. Like I thought about Armin Watts. I thought about some of the other defensive players like Matt Adams and Joe Thomas. But overall, we need a good reset on the defensive side of the ball. And Poles is going to go out and draft a lot of defense and sign a lot of defense and free agents. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also want to wish best of luck to everyone on this list with their NFL careers. Thank you for what you gave to this Chicago Bears, and we hope to see you guys in the NFL next year. Thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and we'll see you guys next time.